for any water-fed pole setup, uh, I think one thing that's absolutely essential is having some way of being able to uh, have a little bit more of a scrape to get marks off. Things like bird poo or bee pollen, spider poo, that sort of thing. Uh, I've tried loads of different ones over the years, from the super scraper from Gardner that sits out the back with a little pad on it, to the mini bronze wool pad from the DA components. So if you want to see how to change your pole from this to this, keep watching. When I first got my over 8 pole, I did also order a bronze wool pad from Veritech. Uh, it's a great bronze wool pad. It's brilliant for doing conservatory roofs or big windows, cladding, that type of thing. But the problem is, in my opinion, it's too wide to have on your brush all the time. So I thought I'd put my DA Components mini pad on. But the problem with that is the teeth on where it fits into the gooseneck are the wrong size to fit onto the over eight poles. So there's a few things that you need to get to make your DA components mini bronze wool pad fit onto an over eight pole. And this is what they are. So first of all, you're gonna need a double gooseneck. Uh, you can get these from Veritech. You're gonna need an over eight quick release brush stock and your mini bronze wool pad. So to start off with, you need to take your brush off and your existing gooseneck. So squeeze that and it should come out. Now these quick release uh, brushes are absolutely fantastic. They work so well. So that just comes off really easy. You then take your gooseneck out, your single gooseneck, that just pulls out nice and easily. Next, you insert your double gooseneck. Now, what I like about these is the way they've been designed so the hose just slides straight up. Uh, there's no hunting around trying to get it through the hole at the top. You might just need to fold the, it round to get it in, but you just push that in and it feeds it straight up and through. So push your, bruce, your gooseneck in and once you've got it in, you can then drop your gooseneck to where you want it and fit your brush back on. So you've now got your over eight brush on the brush stock and an empty port the other side to put your mini bronze wall pad on. So what you need to do next is get your mini bronze wall pad holder and unscrew the wing nuts, but you don't lose those because they are quite fiddly. Both of those have to come off. And then the, the brush stock comes away from the pad holder itself. So basically, it's just leaving a little bit of plastic in there with two bolts out of it. Now your over eight brush stock has got two little holes drilled in it. Now they fit straight on to the bolts on your bronze wool pad. So just screw those back on. That's one. And the other one. Now you need to make sure these are screwed on really tight because if they're not tight, then they do come undone and they're really easy to lose without realizing it. So screw those on. You've then got your mini bronze wool pad onto a over eight brush stock. So that will now just fit straight in, just pushes in. And there you are, you've got your mini bronze wool pad on the back of your brush. So something else I think is really good is from Seed, Exceed Innovation, it's just like a little ring and it fits onto the tube 
so it stop when you pull your univalve it stops your tube pulling back through so I know some people use the o clips with the ears on uh, that works quite well but I found this using these works really well uh, they're just like a little push fit, fit thing now there's a silver side and there's a black side the black side has got to go towards the bottom of your pole and the silver side towards the top of your pole so you just slide those on now these will only work if you've got decent tubing if you've got really soft tubing they do pull off but once it's on you can't get that off at all that's really tight but there is a little a little sleeve in it and if you pull that out you can squeeze it up the same as a John Guest fitting and you can lift that out and move it around so that is a hose stop from Exceed Innovations which are absolutely brilliant so once that's in just really fix your hose onto your brush and you're ready to go all done I hope you found this video useful uh, if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you're not already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and have a check out of my playlists there's loads of other things to see there and thanks for watching bye for now